Today, more students are going back to class for the first time since a tornado ripped through Slidell. Yeah, St. Tammany leaders announced classes at all campuses are resuming this morning. This comes as Governor Jeff Landry prepares to visit the damaged areas. He will be in Slidell around lunchtime today. This weekend was all about recovering as volunteers helped to pass out supplies and food to those who needed it. We know the need is so great for some families who were impacted by last week's EF2 tornado. Volunteers from the Red Cross and multiple churches, including Church of the King at Fritchie Park, have been passing out ice water and hot meals since that tornado hit. This is our community. Our hearts hurt for it, you know, for what's happened, but it's a joy, honestly, to serve them. We're told leaders will be passing out supplies at Fritchie Park once again today. And Governor Jeff Landry will also tour storm damage in West Feliciana Parish. Communities not far from Baton Rouge also suffered some tornado damage last week. Landry will look at the damage there and then talk to local officials about what the need is for those folks. And an update from Clico crews who have been working around the clock to get the lights back on for families on the North Shore. They have made tremendous progress as we take a look at Clico's outage map right here. Right now, about a dozen of people are still in the dark. Remember last week, though, thousands were still in the dark, but those clusters of outages have been resolved. Crews had a challenge as they worked to remove trees from power lines and from the roads. Well, as you see video of damage and hear more stories of survival, we know many of you want to help out today. Join WDSU, Second Harvest Food Bank, NOLA Gold, and Cumulus Media for a day of giving. We are holding a donation drive gathering non-perishable food items and cleanup supplies, and your donations will go to those whose lives have been uprooted in Slidell by last Wednesday's tornado and others impacted by the severe weather across our state. So you can stop by the Shrine on Airline right now until 6 p.m. tonight. I'll be there with WTSU's Travers Mackle as folks stop by. And as we keep up with storm recovery across the state, our coverage of the storm and ongoing recovery efforts continue on WDSU.com. We have additional information about available resources if your home was damaged.